1.5. With creative and critical thinking, what we're trying to figure out is how can we get our students to really analyze data, to think like scientists, to develop experiments, to ask questions about the experiments and what they see going on in the world. I think it was R. It was R. It was R. We're taking our mathematical model that we developed last class and now we're testing our mathematical model. They're taking a look at forces at angles. Okay, what forces do I need? What's going on in terms of motion? How do these pieces connect? And realizing that they're connected and you just look at it critically and think about it, you realize that the accelerations are the same. And so that let us get to one formula for solving the one acceleration. And then after we collect our data, creatively asking questions about what is causing sources of uncertainty in our data. If our incline is a centimeter more than what we predicted, will that be fine? So you're noticing your data is not very precise, right? Yeah. How many times have you conducted the experiment? So like, like, like two times. Or five. By the end of the year, we say to them, and we have them reflect, let's think about the fact that you are now making your own experiment. You are making your own mathematical model. You're doing all of these pieces on your own. And look how much you've grown, how much more you think critically, how creative you are with your experiments. And that's part of what we want you to be able to do by the time you've graduated. That was good.